Okay, today we're watching a penguin video. Yay! Have a seat and rest your feet, please. As far as being an inspiration, everybody tells me I am. I just try to encourage people to be the best that they can. I tell my students, you can do whatever you want to do. I'm very proud of you. When you fall, get back up, keep going. It doesn't matter. I started at Brenham ISD as a bus monitor and a custodian. And I worked at the old Brenham Elementary School. I started college when I was 37 and I graduated at 47. Wanda Diane Smith. And when I walked across Amy that stage, Thomas I was so, you couldn't tell me anything. I had a actual, actual bachelor's degree in my hand. That paper meant everything to me. I'll listen. I started thinking about teaching as a career when I was having my own education in Brenham Elementary all the way through Brenham High School. And so I can remember back as when I was a little girl, I was the oldest in our little group and I always wanted to play school. I loved playing school because school let me be in charge of everybody and I told them what to do. Raylan wonders if cheetahs just sit and wait for their prey. My first grade teacher that. was Mrs. Lois McNair and when she taught us to read, and I knew how to put words together and I knew how to put sounds together. I read everything. I read cans from the cabinet. I read books. I read anything that had words on it. And so that just kind of instilled in me the desire to want to be a teacher. So as I was going through my own education, I just kind of, it was in the back of my mind but then some things happened. I couldn't attend college right out of high school. My mom got sick. I am the product of a single parent. And so my mother got sick and I am the oldest of three. So at that point, um, I had to stop my schooling and I had to provide for my family. I kept talking to my husband and he was like, well, why don't you do it? I was like, oh, I'm too old. I'm like, I can't do that. I've been out of school 20 years. How am I gonna go back? You know, things have changed. And he was like, well, you'll never know if you don't try. So I did go back. Oh God, did I go back. I started at Blinn College. I got my associate's degree in 2004. And then I went to Sam Houston. I started at Sam Houston in 2005. And I graduated 2010. I quit so many times. I'd go and tell my husband, okay, I'll get three jobs and pay you back, but I can't do this anymore. I mean, because it was very hard. In the summertime, I made my kids a deal. I only went to school one semester in the summer. The other semester was devoted to family and to being there for them. I, um, my sister passed. I had to stop going because that was very devastating for me. But my husband set me down, and my husband is my rock. He is my everything. He has been everything to me. And he set me down, and he said, you're not the only one that has made sacrifices. The boys have made sacrifices not having their mom here. And so it was at that point, it was like, I can't give up. God, I can't give up. I have to keep going. And I did. By the time I graduated, everybody was gone. And so that was pretty devastating because the only people there. <sighs> oh God, not again. The only people who were at my graduation was my husband and my kids. And I really wanted my mom and my sister to be there because they were my biggest coaches. But it didn't turn out that way. God had another plan, but it's okay. They saw it. nicest teacher I ever and she's the favorite teacher I have. The things I like about Miss Smith is she teaches me and she's nice. Yeah. 
My students are funny. All of my students I have had for the 11th year, they are funny kids. And believe it or not, I have students that will come back and see me. I have students that come in the grocery store and I don't forget them. I teach community, I teach family, I teach accountability outside of the academics. Because if we don't teach morals and character outside of academics, academics don't mean anything. It does not mean anything. That is just my opinion. But you gotta teach your child that you care about them before you can get anything else. If I don't show them that I love them and I'm there for them, they're not gonna wanna learn anything. I'm here and I'm gonna work at it until God says you can't do it anymore. God had taken me through all of the deaths, all of the this, all of the that. And so, you know, sometimes you just have to fight through whatever it is. It is what it is. It was the hand I was dealt, so you got to play those cards. <laughs>